A while ago, I did a video on how to reshape a dataset without using VBA code or pivot tables, and I received a couple of comments asking for an updated version of something that would work for a large dataset. So if you have a very big matrix with a lot of data and it's in wide format and you need to reshape it into a long format because maybe you have to upload it into a statistical software, then this video is for you. I made a simple VBA code that will reshape your data so that you don't have to write it yourself. You can download this file from the description below and in the next five minutes or so, I will explain how it will work with your data by using an example. For this example, I have 150 dates and 240 stocks. And the objective is to take this uh, wide matrix and to reshape it into a long format, which will give us 36,000 rows and three columns. Why 36,000 rows? Because we're going to have each one of the dates repeated as many times as many securities we have. To make the reshaper work, we need to download it first. If you follow the link in the description box, you'll be taken to Dropbox from where you can easily download it uh, by clicking more and just download. Once you open it, click on enable editing and also ignore the security warning and click enable content because this is a safe file by any means. As you can see uh, here in this workbook, I have two separate sheets. The first one is the raw data where we will paste our own um, data in white format. And then we have the reshaped sheet, which is the destination of our reshaped data where we will have three separate columns, one for the date, one for the stocks, and one for the returns. Make sure that when you're pasting your data, the time variable starts in cell A2, and your header, uh, so the title of the stocks or the securities with the names, that also needs to start in B1. And make sure that cell A1 is left empty. These are the three conditions. Let me give you an example with some mock data that I have prepared that now I'm going to paste into the raw data sheet. So I have it in my clipboard, so I just control V it and it appears. As you can see, uh, we have 150 dates from September 2008 up until um, February 2021. I also have 240 stocks and in the matrix, these are all uh, monthly returns. For the code to work properly, make sure that you don't have missing values in column A and in row 1. You can easily check that by going to cell A2 and then pressing Control arrow down. If that takes you directly to the end of your data set, it means there are no empty spaces in between. And we can do the same check uh, for the header if we go to cell B1 and then we press Control arrow right. In my case, it takes me to stock 240, so I know that there are no empty cells in between. And by the way, uh, it's not a problem if you have some uh, empty values, some missing values inside the matrix, but just make sure that the first uh, column and the first row don't have any missing data. So now let's have a look at the VBA code that does the reshaping. If we click on developer and then on visual basic, that will open um, the VBA editor. If for some reason you don't see the developer tab here, just go to file and options at the bottom. And then where it says customize ribbon, just make sure that here on the right, the developer uh, box is ticked. Click OK and that should make it appear. What I've done, I have created three separate subroutines, three separate macros each one for each part of the data set that we want to reshape. So I have the first macro for reshaping the dates, the second macro that starts here for reshaping the headers, so the first row, and then the last one for reshaping the returns, so for reshaping the actual data inside the matrix. The three subroutines that I created are stored into a module. The module is called reshape data. If when you open uh, the Visual Basic Editor, you don't see the three macros, they are in the module. So double click on reshape data and they will appear. To run the first macro, I just need to select to put the cursor anywhere in the first subroutine and then either press here uh, this green play button or I can use the keyboard shortcut and 
press F5 and that will start reshaping just my dates which are in column A. This procedure uh, takes around 10 seconds on my laptop. It might take a bit longer or it might take a shorter time depending on the machine that you have. So now this is done, uh, I can go to the reshaped um, spreadsheet to check the result of my code. And as you can see here, um, each date starting from September 2008 is repeated um, is repeated 240 times because we have 240 stocks and the last one uh, should be yes in here I was expecting to have it in row 36,001 because we should have 36,000 dates overall so that worked very good so let's go back to the editor now and let's scroll down to get into the second subroutine click anywhere in the second subroutine called reshape headers and press here so this is much faster as a process and we see that this macro what it has done it has taken my header and it has just copied it enough times to fill all the data that we needed to fill if we click anywhere and go control arrow down we will see that we have populated up until row 36001 so the last thing to do for us is now to reshape the returns which is what we have inside here so we go to the very last uh, subroutine in my editor and again click f5 this is a bit longer than the subroutine that we just run but it won't take uh, long anyway uh, also this is around 10 seconds it goes back and forth between the two spreadsheets it copies all the rows and then it transposes as columns and once it's done we see that it actually populated up until row 30001 so we have all the data that we needed and that is done so now to make it more user friendly I'm gonna add three buttons so that you don't have to open the editor and go into the single macro and press F5 but you'll be able to just click three buttons here and that will reshape your data so I'm gonna go to the developer tab where I am already click design mode and then insert I'm gonna pick a button just under form controls as soon as I finish uh, doing this it's asking me to assign a macro so to the first button I'm going to assign the reshape dates because that is the first procedure that we run so OK and that says button 1 so now because I am in design mode clicking it will allow me to modify it but it will not run the macro so why am I clicking it? because I want to give it a different title so I'm going to put reshape uh, dates and now I'm going to do the same I'm going to add another button I'm going to assign the reshape headers macro and lastly I'm going to add I'm going to add the third button for reshaping the returns. So these are my three buttons you will find those into the spreadsheet. Just click on it um, and it will reshape different parts of your uh, data set. If you click the buttons again after you've done this what it will happen it will just repeat the process. Um, so you don't want that so make sure that you you type it just once and always remember to save your file multiple times because macros cannot be undone in Excel if your data set is not as big or if you prefer to do the process manually I'm going to link the previous video that I made in the description box I'll also add a card if you feel like you learned something today please like the video and share it as it does help the channel a lot I thank you so much for watching this far and I'll see you in the next one.